Who are the real Jews? Will the real Jew please stand up? Now, before we get into all this, the evidence proving what went and all that, let's be honest about this situation. Black people, the Negro, the world over, and specifically in black America, what's our current position? And what are the issues? Well, we down bad. We all know it. The main issue is we got a lack of education. How many people even try to go to college? We got a lack of compassion. You will catch a bullet for snipping on some Jordans. We got a lack of collective thought. People are not unified in any way. If you ask black Americans which way should we go and what should we be doing, you're going to have 200 answers. And we got a lack of a thirst for power. We ain't really trying to run any section of this country, any state. We ain't trying to run our own culture. We ain't trying to run our own music. We ain't trying to run our own entertainment. We ain't trying to run the sports. We just trying to work a job and sit around and let the white man pick up the trash. Let's be honest. So we got a lack even above us realizing that we are the real Jews. <clears throat> well, with saying that, help us. Some say, yo, if we say that we are the real Jews and we get back to y'all's law, then things will go better for us. I mean, in one instance, if we wasn't so degenerate, yeah, we would be doing better if we followed some sort of law. Let's talk about these current Jews, or so-called fake Jews, as a lot of y'all like to say. They not in power because they go around saying they Jews. Them people, whatever you want to call them, they used to get killed by the thousands and burned at the stake in Europe. To be a Jew in 11, 1200 AD, walking around Europe, you'd be finished. Maybe even quicker than a black man, you would be finished. Very dangerous for these people. These people truly just came into power. But how so? Well, through discipline, a collective thought, we are Jews and we are doing this and this is what we're going to do and this is the religion and yada yada yada. We're going to have a love for one another. No Jew makes any money off another Jew as far as, uh, you know, giving a loan and adding money on. None of that. They always go for higher education. I'm going to the NFL said no Jew ever. I'm going to become a banker, a lawyer, a doctor. There is no in-between. And there's a focus on economics and self-defense. You know, it took that holocaust for them, but after their holocaust, unlike our holocaust, they got their heads out of their ass. As soon as they got done with that, them boys went on a hunt for everybody who was a Nazi, and they started hunting them down. They was building bombs in their basements, and they was going hams. Hams! You wasn't just going to do anything you went to a Jew anymore. They focused on self-defense. But let me ask another question. The Chinese. Are the Chinese in any way Jews? Are they any of the lost tribes or anything? Okay, well, look at the Chinese. They, they're not Jews. They're the second global power in the world. Arguably. No, not arguably. They are the second global power. So would you want to be in a position of Israel, who says they're the so-called chosen people, and they might be in the top 10 or whatever, the Jews do punch well above their weight, they run a lot of stuff, or would you rather be like China? Israel ain't got no goddamn air force like China, China will turn Israel into a fucking, uh, a giant gaping hole, if it wasn't for America backing to them, if they wanted to, I don't care how much you say you're the chosen people, they will level that country. They have a fierce economic power. None of that comes from saying that they're Jews and sitting back trying to let God do it. That comes from cohesion. That comes from an ideology about who we are of the people. And they even say, yeah, we have a mandate from heaven. That's fine. But it has nothing to do with religion for the most part. It's about goal-oriented and discipline so it doesn't matter if someone's going to say they are the Jews or if these people say they're the fake Jews it's what the people are doing 
for all you uh, Bible thumpers out there. What does John the Baptist says about it? He says, God is able to make Jews from rocks. So I'm not oppressed about anyone's bloodline. Because God can turn anyone he wants into a Jew or not a Jew at any time. So you shouldn't be so pressed over about what uh, your label is. And more pressed about what your ideology is. And what your plan for the collective is. Israel is not even a good strategic place. And I'm going to argue that Ethiopia is the actual holy land. But let's move on. What does the Bible say about the race of blacks? And just hold on and listen to me. Well, what is a black person from the Bible, from the ancient perspective? An Ethiopian, meaning dark face or burnt face, was typically someone in lower Africa below Egypt. The Sudan. Egypt, Mezaraim, the land of two cities, are blacks from Ham. Cushy, Cush, are blacks. And Canaan, are somehow related to the black race. Genesis chapter 10, verse 6. Who are black people? Ethiopians, Egyptians, Cushites, Canaan. Now, that verse right there, they may have just threw Canaan in there to say that they aren't truly related to Canaan. Um, is what some scholars believe. I kind of tend to think that too. But notice the children of Ham, who everybody wants to label this curse of Ham, is definitely Egypt. Mezraim. So, there's that. Cushy is a slur today, but it's typically to um, denote a Cushite, someone from Cush. So, Cushy is a black. So, if you do say that you do not come from Ham, and you come from whoever else, well, just remember, you have to throw away Egypt and Cush. And there is no civilization anywhere that has outdone Egypt and Cush. Anywhere. From a scholarly uh, perspective, Herodotus says the Ethiopians are so kind and it's so peaceful there that they unlock their doors at night. Um, Homer also writes that the Africans are blameless and the Iliad is filled with Africans like Memnon coming into battle, Greece's first written work in 700 BC. Opposed to Egypt's first written work, the Maxims of Tahotep in 2500 BC. Also note that the first Torah is thought to be around 700 BC as well. So this is a long time uh, from Abraham up until them writing the first Torah. So they're actually behind as well compared to the Egyptians. Let's get back to the Bible though. Does the Bible say Jews are black skinned in any way? And are there any black people in the Bible? Let's look at blacks in the Bible. Firstly, Moses, the first rabbi, the first teacher, who truly the entire religion is built upon. His wife is an Ethiopian, not even an Egyptian. She is an Ethiopian, a Cushite. So she was a very dark woman for all those rabbis out there who say uh, there are no blacks in the Bible, which is a complete lie. In fact, there is a story of racism in the Bible where Moses' sister is so outraged that he marries a Cushite that she has problems with it. And God afflicts her skin with uh, skin disease, most notably thought to be um, leprosy, which turns the skin white. Now people say, see, she turned her white like that. Well, uh, if you're, you're Middle Eastern, you're brown. And if she was a black person, how why would she have an issue with another black person? I mean, maybe it is ethnicity, but eh. Moving on, we have Nimrod, who is said to be one of the greatest rulers in the Bible. He comes from Cush, so he is a black man. The black man who supposedly built the Tower of Babylon. Zephanon, if I've said that correctly, Zephaniah, the prophet, is black, biracial, or has some mixture blood in him. He was called the son of a Cushy and the grandson of Hezekiah. So he has royal bloodlines and he has black blood somewhere in his bloodline. Whenever you see anywhere in the Bible a son of Cushy, that means that there is some African blood somewhere in him, some black blood. Um, Hezekiah 
the Israeli king. He got saved by the Ethiopian pharaoh Tarhagra. I believe it's uh, the second kings. Tarhagra comes up and saves all of Israel from their northern enemies. So there are black men all over the Bible, but are the Jews who they speak of, are they black? Well, let's keep looking. Who else is black in the Bible? There's the men of Cush who come to help David during his civil war. And in fact, it was a Cushy who told him of his son's death. Jehuda, a great grandson of a Cushy, uh, and uh, many more. So how do we know that that's just ethnicity and there is no pointing to race? But there is, in the book Song of Solomon, a play dedicated to King Solomon's wife, the princess of an Egyptian pharaoh, one of my favorite books, it speaks to the beauty of a black woman. The queen, while speaking the play in front of the entire king's court, she differentiates her skin tone from everyone else in the room. She says, yes, I am black but beautiful, or yes, I am black and beautiful. Yes, I am black, but comely. That uh, is in the Ethiopian version I hear, and comely. So do not look at me funny because of my black skin. Now this shows a bit of anti-blackness here going on within the king's court. Perhaps some of them had some issues with uh, their king, David's son, marrying a daughter of Pharaoh. But if everyone in the room is black, and we say Egyptians aren't as black as the Ethiopians, then why would she need to differentiate herself from them? Why would she say, I am black but beautiful, in a room for black people? That makes no sense. No, those people in there were brown, darkish. I mean, maybe they had some curly hair, and like I said, there are Negroes within the uh, kingdom, the country who rose to high standards, even prophets, but she differentiates herself because everyone in the room is not black. So we got to take that into, in, into, into being and we got to just admit it there. Some people say, oh, well, 400 years, blah, 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 blah. I mean, as we go back to again, God can make anyone Jews. So if we Jews, we are Jews of stone. Don't get so happy because, hey, this, this points to me and blah, 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 man. No. No, 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 no. A lot of people could have differentiated, had said that about being enslaved for some time. The Slavs were enslaved. The natives here in America, they've been down for 400 years too. You say, well, they're also children of the Most High. They're also Jews. I mean... It just doesn't add up.